I wanted to talk to you about uh, my magnetically coupled rotary system and more about what makes it unique and differentiates it from any other types of magnetically coupled systems that are currently you know, in the planet. Um, my system is based on a magnet design that this is an example of these concave shaped magnets. And what I have here is magnetic viewing film, which shows the flux of the magnets. And I'm gonna place it on these magnets and demonstrate how the flux lines are generated at the nodes. And the lighter areas are actually the, where the flux of the magnetic field is the densest. So this is the basis of my system. And I, these are some smaller magnets than, um, but they are all magnets. Um, and each one of these arrays you see spins freely. All the arrays in this model are based on what you see here. They're not connected, there's no gears etc. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, turn on the machine. This is a AC, DC, I mean a DC <clears throat> power supply and it's connected to the array that is in the center of this model and as I turn it on uh, you'll see the volt voltage output and the voltmeter is connected to just one of the satellite generators. And before I start, this is kind of the motion that it makes as a cog system in a linear form. And, and you can see how it moves. And so I'm going to turn the machine on and take it through various uh, speeds so you can see how the coupling occurs. And you can measure the voltage of the DC power supply and the voltmeter is reading the voltage on just one of the arrays. So you can see it's spinning without any slippage and um, which sort of answers some people's questions about like how, um, you know, how much slippage occurs. So watch as I turn this up because it can go pretty high speed and I'll stop at each stage so you can see the, the difference between the voltage in and the voltage out from one of the satellite generators. And please notice that as I turn the speed up, there's no slipping or coupling or lack of coupling. I can go even higher. Okay, and you can stop the video and do your own sort of power curves on input and output voltage, but there is something interesting occurring to me is in regards to how the percentage of output increases as you increase the, um, the input uh, voltage. Um, but you can do those calculations and try and figure that out. So now I'm going to hook up the linear array with these and turn this on. And so you can see that the coupled system translates and you can add arrays and you notice that there is a drop in the output voltage. There is more work being done by adding the arrays. Um, um, but also these arrays and the linear arrays are in closer proximity. I'm going to speed this up just to show you there is no slippage. I'm going to end by showing you this. So it has my patent number. And if you'd like to contact me, 
or learn more or you have an industrial application, here is the contact under HealyMagnetics.com. Thank you for watching.